Angelese missing four games earlier in the season. She is about to jump center. Another great crowd on hand in Baton Rouge. They sold out their season tickets here, over 9,700 of them, and a good crowd for an afternoon game. And you're seeing immediately a matchup zone by the Demons here. First shot missed by Michaela Williams, one of the best freshmen in the entire country. Morrow is number 24 for LSU. Reese calling for the basketball underneath, and she delivers. So it's one thing to start a matchup zone. It's another thing to be able to rebound out of it. That will be a key for the Demons. And as Kim Mulkey told us, extending into the full court defense to start this game because they've had so many slow starts on the season. Yeah, she is particularly not happy with their last couple of games against McNeese and Louisiana, Louisiana, pardon me, with their slow start. So she wanted to kickstart it with the press. And for the Demons, there's Ayers. You talked about her in the open. She missed everything. Shot selection is going to be critical for the Demons here this afternoon because they are so concerned about LSU's ability to get out and run in transition. Their head coach, Anna Nim, says they want to get all five players back once they take a shot. And they would like to work deep into the shot clock. Last year, Poa has been starting for Van Lith, and Andrew Reese doing what she does best, and that's cleaning up on the offensive glass. Morrow, another opportunity. Reese again. They are relentless on the offensive boards. They've had two trips down the floor and now four offensive rebounds. And at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And this is why the Tigers have been so good this year. Reese and Morrow attacking the offensive glass for the M1. Ayers called for the personal foul. And Angel Reese gets to the free throw line. It is remarkable. She's getting there on average over 10 times per game. LSU leads the entire country. They get to the line about 32 times per game. And we're seeing why. They put pressure on a defense because you, you've got to play the defense until you get the rebound. And right now the score is Angel Reese 5, Northwestern State nothing. And there's the press. Demon's able to get it across. Car. Nella Dean with the basketball, one of three demons who were able to graduate and go to the ceremonies on Wednesday. Here's a turnover. Reese try to keep LSU somewhat in control. They lead the country in scoring. There's a whistle and took the job. She had never even been to the state of Louisiana. It was during the height of COVID. Took the job before she even came to campus. Sight unseen. And then she followed it up with... Her five starters all committed to her sight unseen. And my response to that was, you must be a heck of a recruiter. <laughs> and she gives a lot of credit to these players who have stuck around. As Johnson gets both of the free throws. Woodson, the leading scorer for Northwestern State, number three in black. Kim Mulkey won her 700th career game in the big win against Virginia Tech. Fastest ever. Ayers gets the screen, steps around it. Morrow, and you see good job by Northwestern State to get back on defense. An out-of-bounds play here where they usually just like to lob the ball up to Reese because they've got the height advantage. Great tip back to Poa. It worked perfectly. Last tier Poa. Transfer from Northwest Florida State, playing in her second year in Baton Rouge. LSU out to that 9-0 lead. Shot clock again into single digits. Woodson, their best scorer, and it was just Reese and Morrow under the boards. And we're seeing Northwestern State, all five players, get back in transition defense. No one attacking the offensive glass. Reese was able to collect it and just flipped it in over her head. And there's a kick as just great unselfish play by the Tigers. You've got one-on-one -on -one against the matchup zone, and Reese does a great job of presenting herself. Probably even a better shot of a, a better job of just the little flip Daisy do to the two. Yeah, Reese off to a great start. Seven points and three rebounds. Here's another takeaway. Johnson. Back rims it. And Tomboy could not get it clean. Not talking enough about Flajay Johnson, to me, doesn't get enough credit for her rebounding and defensive prowess for this team. Reese 
Morrow, hard bounce. And that's where LSU has totally taken Northwestern State out of their offense so far here today. Yes. Northwestern State has not seen anything like this defense. Certainly airs, just continues to fire. And it's a possessions game. And that's why LSU excels because whether it's turning teams over was where she made a living at DePaul. But she's shooting better from the field. And what I've been amazed with is her versatility when she gets the ball. She can shoot with either hand, go over either shoulder, and she can go off either foot to finish. She was so terrific playing for Doug Bruno at DePaul. 26 points per game. Things have worked out so far for her at LSU. And Tom Boy at and from right here in this building, it's LSU Lamar. Coverage starts at 7 Eastern, 6 Central Time on Thursday night. We are one week away from Christmas Eve. Don't get me started. Coming, I've, I've done no shopping. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that work by Flaugé Johnson. Flaugé Johnson is so underrated because she can knock it down for deep and she can blow right by you. She is so smooth with a ball in her hands. That's two fouls now on airs. Johnson, the SEC freshman of the year last season, started every game and is already off to a great professional career in the music business. Pam Ward was beating some of those raps here pregame. One, one of the fans who <laughs> love, love Jay-Z's Rock Nation. And she's a terrific basketball player, too. A, a terrific young lady. I mean, the coaching staff raves about her, watches film with Bob Starkey every day because she just wants to be better. Woodson with the miss. Great hustle by Reese to save it right in front of her own bench. Poa back tomorrow. I love Angel Reese. She's got her hands up all the time and then shakes her hand when they she wants them to move on. Well, that's what a good low post player should do, and that's what a good guard should do. That's dirty. Johnson with another highlight reel move. Dixon getting it over to Woodson, who had a little bit of daylight and buried it. I want to welcome those of you now on ESPN joining us after you watched USC and Auburn play basketball. Pam Ward and Christy Thomas-Scuddy at LSU just as the first quarter comes to a close. LSU leading it 19 to 6. And that's what we've seen from this team. That's why I love the fact that Kim Mulkey said, we're going to start off pressing. This is about us, and we've got to get going from the tip. And it worked out for them as Northwestern State has been struggling just to get shots off. They play in the Southland Conference. Woodson has got a good handle. She's their leading scorer. And now inside to Todd, who might have gotten away with an extra step or two. And you see the hard hedge out on the on-ball screen. Velez has got a hand on it to force another demon turnover. Del Rosario hustles to try to get the rebound. They went on a 47-0 run, LSU, in that game. Shot clock not in time with the shot was Woodson. And wants her parents, Chuck and Linda, to know she's thinking of them. And she loves them, even though her dad might be watching the Chiefs right now. No way. Daddy's love. He's watching the little girl. There's Angel. That double stack on the out-of-bounds play for LSU is so difficult to defend with Morrow and Reese because they have a lot of options to run, but depending on how you face up to defend, they know how to pick it apart. Frierson draws contact. That's going to be a foul on Janae Kent, a freshman. Morrow with the miss, and who is there but her teammate once again. And watch how Reese knows how to push a defender under the rim so that she's got the advantage to pull that offensive rebound down and score. Only Sylvia Fowles has more double-doubles in the history of LSU basketball. And remember, this is just Angel's second year here. So that's really scary. So one of the all-time greats as a human being and as a basketball player. Hope she's enjoying retirement. 
Oh, Nisamoro gets the block and then picks it up. Well, Pam gets the block and then starts the break herself. That's the thing about LSU. All five players on the floor can get out and run. And all five players on the floor touch the ball in that possession, but the shot was off the mark by Williams, who is 0 for 7. Very uncharacteristic. Morrow went for the block, but instead is whistled for the foul among those who graduated on Wednesday heads to the free throw line. For Eastern on the SEC Network and the ESPN app. That one just rolls off the top. And attention to detail. Yes, that's the 12th turnover. Reese left open just for a second. That's all it takes. She has certainly become just another force for this ball club. Tried to get the steal. That left airs open. Morrow. Reese missing four games that gave Morrow a chance kind of to you know to, to maybe you know have more time he said I just needed the opportunity beginning of the season Samaya Smith was starting Morrow was coming in off the bench with the injury Morrow getting more minutes and she has made the most of it her numbers in the last six games almost doubling from points and rebounds Averaging a double-double, as you see in the last six games. 13th turnover now for Northwestern State. And so far today, 10 rebounds and 6 points for the DePaul transfer. Underneath, how did that pass find Reese? Give last year Poa all the credit for delivering that ball to Reese down low. But that's the pressure this offense puts on you because you got shooters around the perimeter and Dixon's cheating out a little bit because there's a shooter in the corner and that leaves Reese open. Well, LSU now with a 20 point advantage. She is the glue defensively for this team. Already 14 charges that she's taken here early on the season. And once again, now you're seeing a 1-2-1-1 one, one, one by LSU out of the timeout. Northwestern State just got it over the half-court line in time. Good defense. Bottled up Celaya, and that's going to result in another turnover. Three turnovers in less than a minute now for the Demons. Tough pass. Celaya is able to come up with it, but then is surrounded by Morrow and Reese. Hardison comes away with it. Woodson inside. They have not been able to get much going in the paint, but that worked for Ntongwe. In Coon Rapids, Minnesota, another junior college transfer by Williams. Michaela Williams has not scored in this game and is 0 for 7 from the floor. And Tomboy gambling to Reese. Recruiting coordinator Greg Hobart, wall to wall coverage of every SEC school. Noon Eastern 11 a.m. National Signing Day coming up. We approach two and a half minutes left to go in the first half. Here's inside. Has it trickle off. Angel Reese gets the rebound, her seventh of the game. Well, that was great execution off the flex screen. Unfortunately, Ayers couldn't finish. Coming off a 27.10 rebound game against McNeese State. Talk about how she... Of gameplay. And with her height advantage, I expect the ball, her to get touched. And she is a true freshman, but certainly doesn't look like one physically. Well, I should probably preface that for all the points on the board. But credit her teammates. They knew she had the advantage, and they were getting her the ball. That's her first career double-double. Jordan Todd picked up her second. Well, we'll start. Yeah, you always want to read the defense, not your teammate when you make that long of a pass. She does have a couple of threes this afternoon. Great high-low action. Yeah. El Rosario back at the free throw line. And no team in the entire United States of America gets to the line more than LSU in D1. Well, Pam, 51% of their total points are coming from the free throw line this season. I'm sorry, are coming from the paint. And then as a team... 
they are getting almost 20% of their points from their free throw line. That's high percentage, yeah. plain and simple. And averaging over 96 points per game. Down in this one, at percentage-wise, only 33% from the floor. That's nailed from the outside by Hardison. Poa. With time running out. She's going to throw it up. And LSU takes a 34-15 lead into... She did not score in the first half. And opportunities of LSU in this game. And already this will be the 15th opportunity for the Tigers. Three free throws in the first half, well below her. Ten wins in a row since the opening day loss to Colorado for LSU. They were number one in the preseason, now seventh in the AP poll. Ayers got it by Morrow. Got the good screen by Ntongwe. which means that they know how to handle their teammates yes. <laughs> and one another. A lot of stuff going on. And Coach Nam is very proud of this group that has been with her for the last three years. It's a really good junior college yeah. program. And then Coach Nam likes Juco. This is her first head coaching job in Division One. That was a lot going on for Williams. And I can't say this enough. So much of LSU's game coming into today has been transition game. Hats off to Northwestern State for establishing the tempo of this game and limiting LSU in transition. That was the game plan, sending all five players back on a shot. And it has kept the score low. A double, by the way, for Angel Reese, her fifth of the season and her second in a row. And then defeated... Iowa in the final, and yes, only Sylvia Fowles has more double-doubles in the history of this program, and Angel's just in her second year down here after transferring from Maryland. Flage. Oh, Flage now with eight points. Dixon just picked up her fourth foul. And another giveaway. 20 turnovers now. For Ellis, for uh, Northwestern State, three in the last minute and a half. Carmella Dean now with three personal fouls. Johnson misses her first. Doubleheader starts Thursday at 7 Eastern, 6 Central. SU now up by 18 points. That's another forces about 24 per game. That's 10th in the nation. Morrow with the finish. Well, you might be wondering why and how is Morrow so open down low, but that's because Michaela Williams was on the wing. You see Shauna Ayers just kind of start to cheat out. Great read by last year Poa, and she leads Morrow for that easy two. Yeah, Poa's had a couple of really nice passes in this game. That's not going to work when Angel Reese is on the floor. A little no-looker. Johnson, no-look to Morrow. couple of sweet passes for the Tigers. And a timeout with Flair. And Chantel Hardison is the aunt of Nia Hardison, who plays for Northwestern State. Daniel Whitehurst, the mother of Jordan McLemore, who is also on this Demon team. And the connection with Coach Mulkey, where she was a tremendous All-American at Louisiana Tech. Leon Barmore in that photo is the head coach. There's Chantel's niece, Hardison, getting the basket. And that ends a string of five straight possessions for the Demons in which they turn the ball over. Well, I think for every coach, you want your team to respond out of a timeout. That was a big score. Shot clock. Dying. High degree of difficulty on that shot by Woodson. And look at Poet. Gets the outlet immediately looking up the floor to pass ahead. And finally... Michaela Williams gets her first. And even better, just creating shots for her teammates as well. The defense by Morrow on that play. That's in the teens percentage-wise. Last foul on Jordan Todd. is her third. 
Well, I'm just going to do a scouting report for anyone for LSU. <laughs> You've got to do your work early if you're going to try to keep the bigs off the glass. You can't be standing next to them. They're too good at going to get the ball at their highest point. Not... Poa? A bit too strong, but gosh, Johnson this time hits the glass. Reece. Johnson. Sorry, Pam. It's just so good at tracking rebounds from one side of the floor to the other. Last year's SEC Freshman of the Year into double figures. Third Tiger to get there. Now Williams with the steal and takes it all the way. That's when she decided to take it up. Here's another giveaway. Johnson couldn't hang on to it. Inside, height advantage for Ntamwe, but they couldn't get it into her cleanly with defense by Velez. And then Angel, being Angel. When Kim Mulkey took her team to Southeastern Louisiana earlier this year, their highest attendance game. I have a feeling Coppin State will be the same this week. Here's Baltimore's own Angel Reese. On the break, she's got 20 to go along with 13 rebounds. Well, we can talk about the offense, we can talk about the rebounds, but you've seen the on-ball defense, defense, the long arms, the poke, and then just takes it coast to coast. Morrow goes out. Del Rosario, the talented freshman coming in. And Angel Reese with the third second coming to a close. We'll get some extra rest as she also comes out of the game. Les out on Woodson, who is following Coach Nim's game plan of hanging on to the basketball and bleeding some time off the clock. And hats off to Woodson. The ball has been in her hands, predominant part of this game, especially in the shot clocks, and that time gets it to go down. And that is what she is known for. Great scorer from Corner, Alabama. It's around Birmingham. I had to look it up. Thank you. Oh, and an answer for Michaela Williams. A slow start for Williams, who didn't score in the first half. She's got some something going on here the now. School break, as far as exams go. It's a Sunday. It's the holiday season, and yet these Tigers love to support their athletes. And so, not surprising at all that winner after winner is coming through this athletic department. Yeah, absolutely. Now a chance, a very rare chance on a breakaway. Angel Reese back in the game. Williams just pulls her way in. See Network in the ESPN app. That is Saturday men's basketball. Williams. Reese and Morrow in the game for LSU. With Kim Mulkey getting some reserves some time. But Williams comes away with the steal. Reese wanted it, but Williams took it all the way. Angel said, all right, I'll get the rebound and a putback. So many times you see Post lag behind in transition because they're not going to get it, but Angel Reese sprints the floor there on the weak side for the easy positioning for the rebound putback. Ryerson picked up her third. Reese gets the three-point play. I, I just, that young lady's upside. I don't even think we've seen the extent of it yet. Shot clock dying. They're not going to get a shot off. Good defense, particularly at the end of the possession by Johnson out on the perimeter. Northwestern State has been able to get downhill so consistently against opponents. And they've played two other Power 5 opponents, so it's not like we're saying against lesser opponents. Their offense has been that good, but that's how good the defense of LSU has been this evening of taking the Demons out of it. Johnson with a sweet look. Passing it up. Just getting the shot off, well short, and another shot clock violation. She said, to tell you the truth, we didn't, I didn't even look at the film. She said, right now, we, to go to your point, she said, we are working on. To make adjustments, to get lineups the way you want. Kayla Williams back at the free throw line. She was going to learn to play together. And, and I can't say this enough, through injury, through players missing games, Craig Halbert going to have wall-to-wall -wall coverage of every SEC school to see where the nation's top recruits land. 
three-hour signing day special starting at noon Eastern, 11 Central on the SEC Network and the ESPN app. That's on Wednesday. Del Rosario with Northwestern State has only scored 15 points in the second half. 15 points in 15 minutes. Ayers misses everything. That's an Ayers ball. <laughs> Anissa Morrow, wipe it off. That's an offensive foul. And Kim Mulkey is tugging on the sparkly jacket. Not happy. Well, Dane gets back, and I think Kim Mulkey just got teed up and now tossed from the ball game. Mulkey being held back, as you see, by the staff. And now Angel Reese. She flew off the bench and was just incensed by that last call. Well, there are a lot of opinions about Kim Mulkey, but one that is consistent is her passion. And, and you see not just the technical, but her being ejected from this game. So Kim Mulkey with four minutes and 56 seconds left in the game. Her team up by 41. Gets the technical foul call. And there she goes. So many of the people giving her a standing ovation for the double technical that got her ejected. Yeah, I mean... Obviously, the fans are not in agreement whatsoever. They love their head coach. And what I will say is at, that's an example of it doesn't matter the score. A head coach is still going to fight for her players, is still going to coach for her team. And I love Angel Reese's response, going to grab her head coach and saying, it's okay, we got you. Now Dean takes the technical free throw shots. Gets them both. But the technical foul, absolutely, the double technical, the right call. Uh, yes, Without she's on the court, and that's a point of emphasis this year to enforce the coach's box and keep coaches off the playing field, uh, playing floor. So the offensive foul on Morrow. Ayers misses the free throw, an 80% free throw shooter. Even that young man is upset. <laughs> All age groups upset right now <laughs> in Baton Rouge. Basketball fans know him. Well, he has worked under legendary coaches, Van Chancellor, Gary Blair. Another block. Del Rosario, a very impressive young freshman herself to go along with Michaela Williams. Both of them on the floor now. But has come on strong since. Well, throughout the first half, I just knew it was a matter of time. It's not if, but when. So Morrow's day is done. She had a double-double along with Angel Reese. Del Rosario. A little bit too strong, so she puts it up again. And now we see Dean. She's got some gauze in her nose. Remember, she got hit earlier in this quarter. Oh, Flo J. Johnson can play basketball. What a finish. Now inside two minutes. Dean at the line. I saw their hit. Little no-look pass. Another foul. Warm a coach's heart and get you some more playing time. At the Webb School in Tennessee, which has produced quite a few athletes. The, the Demons. In and out. And here comes Velez, of whom you just spoke, bringing the ball up. Del Rosario saying, give me the ball. This is when you know a post has transitioned to college, when they're directing the traffic and saying where the ball should go so they have the advantage down low. Three, no go. Del, Del Rosario with another rebound and a flashy pass inside the kick. Uh, the freshman doing it all, Del Rosario. She has nine rebounds. Reese had 14, Morrow had 14. The LSU chant goes up, and the Tigers 
win it 81-36. Double-doubles for both Reese and Morrow.